Next up in our series on commercial vacuum cleaners, we have the ProTeam ProForce 1500 XP. We put it through a lot of tests, compared it to some of its competitors, and the results were pretty interesting. So links in the description, and let's get started. So with the model number, the 15 refers to the length of the brush path width, i.e. 15 inches, but the 1200 XP, which you guessed it, has a 12 inch width, is a little bit cheaper, but otherwise the exact same unit. So this review should work for both versions. So starting with the Pros, we love the Pro Team brand and have tested one of their backpack vacuums in the past, which blew us away with its suction power and airflow, and their upright vacuums apparently have a ton of power as well with their dual motor system. After testing its suction and airflow, at the wand and at the cleaner head, we found that it had almost 15% more suction than either the Windsor XP or the Sanitaire Eon. And with airflow, which I would argue is a more important power metric, it scored almost 100 CFM at the wand, so about 20 to 25% more than its competitors, with similar results at the cleaner head. So yeah, it had more power than its much more expensive competitors. Its power mostly showed up with its deep cleaning ability. I should mention here that I recently revamped the way I do deep clean tests, mostly by getting a much more accurate scale that can sense even a couple extra grains of sand. I also started testing each vacuum at least twice and taking an average score to reduce the margin of error. And so after retesting every commercial vacuum in this series so far, the new results have the Pro Team Pro Force ahead with an average score of 97% compared to 94 for the Windsor and 90.5 for the Sanitaire. Another pro is its filtration. It has two HEPA filters, which is different. We tested it in a few different ways. Like the other commercial vacs we've tested so far, it was way better than average, but not entirely perfect. I did see a little bit of fog in the fog test, but nothing major. I am developing a new filtration test with a particle meter, but it's not quite ready, and I'm still waiting on some fancy professional testing dust to be delivered, but I should have it ready by the time I finish this series on commercial vacuums. The final pro is that it has great parts availability and a three-year parts and labor warranty, which is a year more than its competitors, and most every part is available and in stock on their website. Also, did I mention it's a lot cheaper than its competitors? Check the links below to compare current prices. But it can't all be rainbows and unicorns, so let's move on to the cons. Starting with the first thing I noticed, it was difficult to assemble. I spent 20 minutes looking at the directions trying to figure out what to do, and even when I knew what to do, it was kind of hard to do. It's not a huge deal, but it was something worth mentioning. Even though it's basically the same weight overall as its competitors, it was about 2 pounds heavier on the arm than the Sanitaire and 1 pound heavier than the Windsor, which is pretty significant for arm weight, and it made it the most difficult to maneuver of the three we've tested. It wasn't extreme or anything, but it was noticeable. Probably the biggest con as far as I'm concerned is that it doesn't have a way to adjust the height, which isn't a big deal as long as you don't come across larger debris. But for example, on carpet, it wasn't even able to pick up fruity pebbles, which is pretty rare. Even vacuums that struggle with larger debris on hard floors, like the Windsor, for example, which struggled with anything larger than Cheerios on hard floors, was able to pick up Cheerios and even Fruit Loops on carpets. In other words, almost no vacuum has large debris trouble on carpets, but the Pro Team Pro Force does. However, that's why vacuums have wands, and as we've seen, the Pro Team wand has a lot of pickup power. Also, I should note that at least the Pro Team Pro Force can pick up fine debris on hard floors, as it has a brush roll shutoff switch, which is more than you can say for the Sanitaire Eon, which simply can't be used for hard floors at all. Another con is that the brush is not at all easy to remove, to clean or replace. In fact, it's extremely difficult, at least when compared to the Sanitaire and Windsor, which have spoiled us with their one-button brush roll release technology. So the Pro Team Pro Force seems to be the obvious choice so far if price, power, deep cleaning ability, parts availability, and warranty are important metrics to you, but you have to be okay with pulling the wand out a lot for larger debris and having a slightly heavier vacuuming experience. We'll be continuing our series on commercial vacuums, and next up will be a slightly different style with the Auric XL, and we hope you subscribe to Vacuum Wars for all the latest on vacuums, robot vacuums, and carpet cleaners. Consider a like if this video helped you out, and thanks for watching.